we've got to take this, uh, we're doing this remodel, and we took out the tub that was right here. And you see that was the, that's where the, that was the valve, and there's where your drain line was. But the new stand-up shower that's going to go in here, it's going to have the drain over here. So we've got to get this piece of plywood up, and uh, it's all screwed down, which is good. Uh, the, uh, but this flange right here is, uh, is glued in. It's PVC. It's glued in. You can see it's, it's broken here and broken right there. Uh, that usually happens when you over-tighten, you know, when you're, putting, you're setting your toilet. But anyway, you, you had the, the, the half-inch hardy board went underneath this flange, and it made, it made a nice situation because then you tiled right up to the edge of it, and so you just put your wax ring on and set it, and it's pretty good. But now we've got to get this plywood out, so this is in the way. And since it's already broken, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, remove it. Now I'm going to show you how to cut one of these out. It's, it's PVC, so it'll cut with a sawzall. And uh, the difficult part is cutting the inside edge here. And one more thing you want to do is make sure you don't have a lot of trash dropping in your drain hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this copper wire like so. And uh, that way I'll, I'll be able to remove it, you know. It won't drop down there so far I can't get it. Alright, so I'll do it like this, and then I'll stuff it in the hole. Try to get it down there below that flange level so it's out of my way. Just push it on down in there like this. Okay, all we gotta do is make sure we get it at least just below that, that area right there. We're, we're gonna be cutting all the way to right here. If that's all one solid piece right there. So that'll help with the trash. And we'll take a vacuum and suck out as much as we can. I just like getting uh, trash down my drain line because you never know what might uh, collect down there. So anyway, and this right here, the wire, you can move it to the sides and get it out of your way. So I'm going to use my, uh, my sawzall and my stitchy cord here. And we'll get started on this little job. Remember, trusty knee pads and your safety glasses. A lot of people like wearing gloves and stuff, but I have a hard time working with gloves, so unless I'm welding or something, which is another thing I can do. Anyway, so let's uh, let's cut off right here. You can see, you can see that flange was, was broken. So it wasn't going to hold up anyway. Alright, that's number one piece right there. Alright. So you can also see where it's where that pipe went in, right to there. So we can cut right to that. Break them right in like that, but we still got, as you can see right there, we still got pipe on the inside. We got to cut that out, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Let me get some more of this other stuff out of the way. Okay, we've got the, uh, the outside, the flange is cut off here. Now, if you look right here, we still got a little bit that's in there. It's been glued in, and you can see right there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to saw in there real carefully, not, not, getting, not getting into this uh, where the glue was. And so you'll just be real careful with it. Now, I'm going to take my little chisel here. I'm going to see if I can pop that loose, just like that, see it? There's, there's where it was glued right there. So I'm just going to be gently working it around without trying to break anything or create more work. See how it's coming loose right there? Sometimes they come out pretty easy and sometimes they don't. And you may have to do some finishing work on the inside or else when we take this off, we can put a new collar on it, a new coupling, and start all over again if we decide that's what we want to do. 
these parts are not that expensive, so it's not that big a deal. But if you can salvage, then salvage. So, all right, now I'm going to have to knock a little bit more off. with this in too big a hurry you'll, you'll end up breaking something that you don't want to break you have to start really have to start over look at that it came out real nice right there we still got these bigger pieces here we're trying to get the whole thing to come off at once most time they won't do it it's been glued pretty good there we go. See? That's working out there. There it is. Nice piece right there. Yeah. And again, you can see we're not getting a whole lot of trash down in the hole, which is what, exactly what we're trying to avoid. I'm going to cut this a little bit more right here. We've got the, um, the flange cut out, so our mission was to be able to take the plywood up because we've got to relocate the, the drain line here for the new shower. And um, but what we've done here, is we've got it cleaned out pretty well. It's not perfect. There's still some pieces that are glued on pretty heavily, and um, uh, it might be we have to take a, a, a little flapping wheel or something, or a little small grinder, and get in there and clean that up. Once I get the plywood up. What I want to do is I want to take a look and see uh, if it's better to go ahead and uh, just cut that all off and just start brand new, which I'm kind of thinking maybe, but because um, it is a toilet, you don't want toilets leaking, and if you if you overdo, your glue is not going to fix that problem. So I mean, if you cut out too much, you know, uh, it, you need a good tight seal when you're when you're gluing those back together. If you ever have a backup and Possibly you could go for 10 years, never have a problem. You get a backup one time, and then it comes up through there and finds a weak spot, and it comes out in a place you don't want it to. You get sheetrock damage uh, down below, and you just don't want that problem. So uh, we'll evaluate that issue when we get the plywood up. All right, thanks.